In this video, we are going to start learning a new chapter called Surface Areas and Volumes. But before that, let us get through some of the basics. This video is going to explain what is cuboid and cube, the basics of cuboid and cube. Cuboid, a cuboid is a solid bounded by six rectangular plane regions, as shown in the figure here. You can see, I'll just name them before I explain it to you. A, B, C, D. This makes one plane region, A, B, C, D. And then A, B, C, D, E, F. So A, B, E, F makes another plane region that makes it two. E, F, G, H. So here is G and here is H. B, H, C, G makes it another plane region. E, F, G, H makes it another plane region. A, D, H, he makes it another plane region. And G, F, B, C makes it another plane region. In all, six plane regions, six rectangular plane regions. That's the most important thing. Rectangular plane regions is cuboid. Six rectangular plane regions forming a solid is a cuboid. Now, this is the most basic explanation as far as cuboid is concerned, but there are a lot of other terms associated with a cuboid. Let us see what are those. First one, let's call them faces. This figure is made up of six rectangular plane regions, namely A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A, E, H, D, C, G, F, B, A, E, F, B, and C, D, H, G. These six rectangular plane regions are the six faces of this cuboid. So the top face is A, B, C, D, and the bottom face is E, F, G, H. And these two faces form a pair of opposite phases. Similarly, A, B, F, E, A, B, F, E, and C, D, G, H, and A, D, E, H, and B, C, F, G are the other two pairs of opposite faces. Now, any two faces other than the opposite faces are called adjacent sides. As we all know, if it lies next to each other, then they're called adjacent faces. So clearly, a cuboid has six faces. A, B, C, D, and A, B, C, D, and A, B, E, F are two adjacent faces. Let me just mention the faces here. A, B, C, D is one. E, F, G, H is another. A, E, H, D is another. C, G, F, B is another. A, E, F, B is another, and C, D, H, G is another. So it makes six faces. So now let us go to the next term, which is called as edges. Now any two adjacent faces, now let's take the two adjacent faces here. A, B, C, D, and A, E, B, F. Now these two, as you can see now, as I've marked it with another color, you can see how adjacent they are just showing them they are the adjacent. Now the edge that joins these two adjacent sides or the line that joins these two adjacent sides is called as the edge. So defining it would be like this. Any two adjacent faces of a cuboid meet in a line segment which is called an edge of the cuboid. So in all there are 12 edges of the cuboid and as far as this cuboid is concerned let us name the edges here. A, B, A, D, A, E, H, D, H, E, H, G, G, F, G, C, F, E, F, B, E, F, and C, D. These count up to 12 edges. Now, since the top and the bottom faces are opposite, they must be also equal. So therefore, the edges that can be equal are AB and EF, CD and GH and so on. So edges are also equal. Some of the edges are equal to some. Now definitely AD is not equal to AB because they are both of different lengths. But AB is equal to EF. So those are the two kind of edges that I'm talking which can be equal. Now let us go to the next term called as vertex. For any two edges, say for example A, B, and D, A, for any two edges that meet at an endpoint, this meets at an endpoint A, there is a third edge and that also meets them at that point. 
Now AB and DA meets at A, there is another edge AE which meets at that point. So now this point of intersection of these three edges of a cuboid is called as the vertex of a cuboid. Now clearly a cuboid has eight vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is A, B, C, D, and E, F, G, and H. So the vertices are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. These are the eight vertices of a cuboid. Now, another important term would be base and lateral faces. Now, the base of a cuboid can be anything. It depends on how you want to place the cuboid. Say, for example, if this is the way that I have placed the cuboid, the base here is clearly E, F, G, H. So, and the faces... F, G, C, B, A, E, H, D, G, H, D, C, and F, E, A, B are lateral faces. If, if the base is E, F, G, H, then the faces that surrounds the base are the lateral faces. You also have to exclude the top face from the list of lateral faces. Because when we take a face of a cuboid as the base, when you take anything, say for example, you take anything as a base, you can choose which you want to be as a base. Then its length and breadth are known as the length and breadth of the cuboid. Say, for example, I've taken EFGH as the base. Then the length of this base, that is EF, and the breadth EH is the length and breadth of the cuboid itself and the edge where any two lateral faces meet. The lateral faces for the base EFGH can be ABEF and DAEH. Now, these two faces meet at this edge. Now, this edge becomes the height of the whole cuboid. Sometimes this height is also called as depth or the thickness of a cuboid. So these are the most important terms, these four faces, edges, vertex, base and lateral faces. These are the important terms with respect to any cuboid. Now let us go to cube. Now cube and cuboid just differ very slightly or just in one way. When all the edges of a cuboid, or say, let us put it this way, a cuboid whose length, breadth, and height are all equal is called a cube. A cuboid whose length, breadth, and height are all equal is called a cube. Let me try and draw a cube here. So yeah, this looks more like a square box than this, right? So this is a cube. A cuboid whose length, breadth, and height are all equal is called a cube. Now, these are the most basic points. Now, let us see what is surface area of a cuboid and a cube. Now, say, let me draw another cuboid for you. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Now the surface area of a cuboid is nothing but the sum or the summation of the areas of all the faces of the cuboid. So the faces here are ABCD plus EFGH. So yeah, we have ABCD, we have EFGH, and then we have DGAE, and then we have B, C, H, F, and then we have D, C, G, H, and A, B, E, F. So these are the six faces. Now the area of each. Now the area of A, B, C, D is length into breadth. The area of E, F, G, H would be again length into breadth dgae would not be length into breadth it will be breadth into height because this is the breadth and this is the height and bchf would again be breadth into height dcgh would be 
length into height and this again would be length into height. So we've got two things of length into breadth, two things of breadth into height and two things of L into height. So two into length into breadth plus breadth into height plus length into h makes the total surface area of a cuboid. So this is quite simple. So the area would be centimeter square because we've got centimeter square. If this is centimeter, centimeter, it will be centimeter into centimeter, centimeter square. So that is the reason why it is centimeter square. So this is the total surface area of a cuboid. Two times length into breadth plus breadth into height plus length into height. Now we've done a cuboid. Now what about a cube? Now as we know, as far as the cube is concerned, it is a cuboid where length equals breadth equals height. So the total surface area or a surface area of a cuboid is 2 times length into breadth plus breadth into height plus L into H. But as far as the cube is concerned, everything is the same. So let us take everything as just L which is length. So L into L plus L into L plus L into L which is L square plus L square plus L square which is 2 into 3 L square which is 6 L square. So therefore the surface area of a cube is 6 L square and the surface area of a cuboid is 2 into length into breadth plus breadth into height plus length into h. Now we are done with surface area of a cuboid and a cube. Now let us go to the next topic. This is another simple topic lateral surface area of a cuboid and a cube. Now let us again draw a cuboid. So let us name them now. A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H. So now let us see what is the lateral surface area. Now if out of the six faces of a cuboid, we only find the sum of the areas of four faces leaving the base or the bottom and top faces, this sum is called as the lateral surface area. We need this face and then we need this one and then we need this one here and then we need this one. So we don't need the top and the bottom. Now let us go to the surface area. Leaving the top and the bottom faces, Finding the areas of all the other sides or the faces is called as the lateral surface area. So now the lateral surface area of this cuboid would simply be the area of the face AEHD. AEH. So here is AEHD plus area of the face BFGC plus ABFE plus DHGC. DHGC. So if you notice carefully, we haven't included the faces ABCD and EFGH because they are the top and the bottom faces. And to find the lateral surface area of a cuboid, we just need only the faces that surround the top and the bottom. So here we have area of the face AEHD. AEHD as breadth into height plus BFCG as again breadth into height. AB Fe we have it as length into height and this also as length into height. We can write this like bh plus bh plus lh plus lh which is nothing but 2bh plus 2lh. Taking out 2h as common we have length plus breadth. So 2 into height into length plus breadth is the lateral surface area of a cuboid. Now, what about a cube? For a cube, all we need to do is just replace everything with h or any one thing, length. So 2 into length plus b is also length into h is also length. So we have 2 into l plus l is 2l into l. 2 into 2l is 4l into l. 4L square. So 4L square is the lateral surface area of a cube and 2 times height into length plus breadth is the lateral surface area of a cuboid. So these are the basics of cuboid and a cube. There are also another couple of points that I need to include here. 
the diagonal of cuboid is root of l square plus b square plus h square whereas for a cube it is root 3 into l and then if you want the length of all the 12 edges of a cuboid so here we have length of 12 edges of a cuboid is 4 times length plus breadth plus height and for a cube it is 12 times length for a cuboid it is 4 into length plus breadth plus height and for a cube it is 12 times its length so yeah this pretty much ends all the basics of cuboid and a cube with this information we can now solve problems based on cuboid and a cube.